So we're in Close, California, just finished installing a Bradford White 50 gallon natural gas water heater. Uh, the old water heater, it had a little split in the back. It was the sleeve, but you know, if the sleeve split, then obviously pressure had broken through. So you had a ruptured tank, not a lot of damage. And uh, the only thing I would say is uh, if you've, you've got some <clears throat> water on the sides of this stand, and you can either dry it up and clean the mold off, or you can just pull that off. Uh, the stand should be, you know, in good shape. You know, from what we were told, it just started leaking and they contained it. But you can pull these off and put OSB board back on there right out of Home Depot. It's 7 sixteenths. It's that oriented strand board. You don't need to buy the plywood. And just cap it off. And then, you know, while it's open, you can certainly take a look inside. You can see you got some fuzz growing right here. So that seems to indicate it's been leaking longer than just a little bit. But we can only go on uh, what we were told. So... <clears throat> like I say, this is probably half inch sheetrock. Um, yeah, because you got corner bead right there, the metal strip. So that's sheetrock. Pop it off. And then you can, uh, you know, don't ever blow a fan on this because that's where the gas and the air goes into the unit. But you can certainly point something down here if you feel there's water down there, whatnot. But you can take that off, get everything dried off real good. And, uh, and then just replace it with uh, some uh, OSB board. Nail it off real good or screw, you know, corners and everything, and that'll keep the shear. There was nothing going on on the wall, so no mold on the walls, uh, no mold on the platform, just water on the platform and the paper had peeled back, so we gave you a half inch uh, or 0.42 uh, thick um, <clears throat> cement backer board. That's what they use for tiling in showers and whatnot, so that gives you a nice platform there. So back up to the top, a little adjustable 90 right there, brand new, and then a piece of pipe, brand new. Give you a new shutoff valve. Took all the old piping out. So brand new quarter turn on and quarter turn, quarter turn off, quarter turn on. So that works great. It's a Watts three quarter inch full port ball valve. A couple of copper adapters, one here and one there. A little brass nipple to a stainless steel connector. These are Falcon stainless steel connectors, full three quarter inch inside diameter. So this flows exponentially better uh, than what any other line would. You did, have, you did have copper coming out. So that flows real good and tied in. Uh, but it was old and corroded, so we just gave you new new connectors. That way we can warrant the whole installation instead of just replacing the water heater. Brass extensions on both sides, hot and cold. And then a relief valve, this comes with the unit. Temperature and or pressure uh, builds up too much and this thing will pop off and drain to the outside of the building. Uh, this is not strapped in the wall, we didn't install it, so not much you can do with that, but it's not a big deal. Um, you know, this is just a drain line. So this one is not a Falcon stainless steel, it's just a ProFlow straight out of Ferguson, flexible corrugated line that goes down, and it's just a drainage line. This is not under pressure, all the water is held back right here by that valve. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's everything up top. Gives you a little board back here at the top. Uh, it was, platform's a little crooked, so this is like 3 eighths of an inch, this board. We put that in there just to, so we could strap this real good. Upper third, we got a brand new adjustable strap for you right here. And then lower third, a brand new adjustable strap. And then down here, gave you a new gas valve and then a new gas connector. And uh, so everything's good there. Uh, this is your model number, serial number. Uh, if you'd like to go to bradfordwhite.com and register this product, uh, they'll ask you for your full name, street address, all that. And then you'll give them this serial number here, the uh, WH. 46371427. Give them that number. Get your warranty going on this. One year parts, six years. I'm sorry, one year labor, six years parts. And then um, right now we've got it set to hot. This is approximately 120 degrees. That's all we can set it to. If you want to turn it up, totally up to you. Keeping in mind, the, you can read right here, scalding risk increases with hotter water. So this is approximately 120, A130. B140, C150, very hot 160. They have a chart on all this, what is scalding, but uh, basically B140, uh, 30 degree burns, three seconds. If you're an infant or elderly with thin skin, one second you go to the hospital. So I recommend leaving it right there. If you have issues in the home at a shower or a tub uh, where you're not getting the hot water you think, don't, don't come out here and turn this up. You may have something going on with a cartridge in the shower itself that can be resolved just by working on that fixture. So uh, try and leave this where it's at. I know some people like to turn it up where they want it, but um, we're required to leave it right here at 120. So uh, anyways, everything in here looks good outside of that. This installation is done.